All right, Kenny, two overalls on the year, and man, that first moto was special. Yeah, the first moto was awesome. Not sure really what happened. I just gate dropped and I, uh, I was just on. I mean, I really like this track and uh, um, I like the ruts and all. I don't know, something something just clicked, you know, and I really um, could make something happen here in the first few laps right away. And um, it was awesome. The first moto was, 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 it was a good feel to have a gap and just kind of like, um, you know, finish the moto and not having to worry about anything. You know, they were talking about focus out there. Were you at any point in that motor? Were you looking around, going, "Hey, where are these guys?" Um, I wouldn't say I was looking around, but it is. You know, it's tricky when you have a gap like that, and you tend to take it easy. But it, it's actually really the wrong thing to do. You know, you just got to kind of keep riding your own boot, and um, because with the ruts, and you know, and obviously it was a little slippery in the beginning too. It just it bites you so quick. Second moto, you didn't really have to. You know, it's similar to Hangtown, where you didn't really have to chase Eli and. I you, tried. You, you kept close, though. Yeah, I tried. You know, it's, uh, the track was a lot gnarly on that second moto. Um, we had a good battle, and even when he went by, I, I kind of just tried to stick uh, stick right behind him and gap me a little bit, and we all got into, I don't know about him, but there was a couple issues with lappers that were crashing, and then um, he got up, and he rode across all the ruts while I was coming down and, and went right in front of my rut, and, uh, you know, had to slow up big time then. But overall, though, you know, he wasn't too far away, so... How different was it between first and second moto as far as track conditions out there? Uh, track conditions were a lot different, honestly. Uh, it was a lot deeper, a lot bumpier, really. I mean, I wouldn't say the dirt was deeper, but the ruts got deeper and, and just the bumps in the ruts. I mean, the bike was moving around a lot more. Uh, I was really surprised, but I guess we had uh, quite a bit of break in there. And then um, we had an extra race, I think, the All-Stars as well. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a big difference. Is it nice having that break in the middle there? It was really nice. I think that they should do more of that. Just I feel like it's better for the riders. and and everything so and it's kind of odd to be honest because I don't know we had like an extra 30 40 minutes or something which was uh, which was really nice um, it's just really weird because normally we come in and literally we sit down for 10 minutes and then turn back around and it's you know I know it's for TV but in the end uh, um, it's it's really tough cramping everything into a you know a little time get a week off here do anything uh, relax a little bit or is it still full speed ahead on testing and everything else well for me you know I'm still trying to catch up a little bit so relaxing I don't think it's the right word of saying it's just really nice to be at home on the weekend you know but the first week of the um, of the off weekend is the best to actually you know train a little bit harder and make some gains just because uh, you know the second week you already got to think about the weekend well thanks man we'll yeah, see ya no problem thank you